Track 2.16 Reading Time 4 Activity 1 The Power of Stories Stories are an important part of every culture. There have always been stories. Even before there were languages, people used pictures, signs and sounds to tell stories. Stories express our values, experiences, hopes and dreams and help us to understand the world around us. Do you remember your favourite stories when you were very young? The ones you always wanted your parents to read to you just one more time? We all need to hear and tell stories. But how did it all begin? The Start of Storytelling Thousands of years ago, people used to sit around their fires at night. There were no books or television, so talking was the only entertainment. They asked questions about things they did not understand, such as, Where does fire come from? Over time, people developed stories that answered these questions. Before there was writing, it wasn't possible to record stories. People learnt the stories of their culture and told them to their children, who told them to their children. This is called oral storytelling. Without writing, it is how stories are shared over the years and never forgotten. The earliest forms of storytelling included chants, songs, poems and dance. For example, the Aboriginal people of Australia have shared their stories for thousands of years through very long songs, which also provide a map of the landscape. These are called songlines, and they describe the position of natural features, such as rivers, rocks and trees, across the land. This helped people to find their way and travel great distances. The Oldest Stories Writing appeared around 5,000 years ago in Mesopotamia, modern Iraq and Syria. The first writing system was called cuneiform. One of the oldest written stories is the Epic of Gilgamesh. An epic is a long poem about an important person or hero. Gilgamesh was a powerful king in the city of Urduk in Mesopotamia. He lived for a very long time and had many great adventures. The stories were originally oral tales, but over 5,000 years ago, people started to collect them and write them on clay tablets in cuneiform. Other stories that began thousands of years ago are still famous all over the world. The Mahabharata is one of the most important epics of India and is described as the longest poem ever written. It's about the adventures of two groups of princes. At the beginning of the story, the author, Vyasa, tells the reader, If you listen carefully, at the end, you'll be someone else. The Thousand and One Nights is a collection of stories from the Middle East and South Asia. Scholars started to write down the stories around 1,200 years ago. Many famous and much-loved tales, such as Aladdin, Simbad, and Ali Baba, are from the Thousand and One Nights. Storytelling in the 21st Century We see and hear stories every day without knowing it. We all know that stories are found in books and films, but did you know that many adverts tell stories? Companies understand how powerful storytelling is and use it to sell their products. This works for many reasons. Stories create experiences and feelings, and we remember these better than facts. Stories create connections between people, so the connection between us, the customers, 
and the company is much stronger. People share stories. So we tell all our friends about the fantastic new product we have found out about. Storytelling affects our lives in many different ways, beginning many thousands of years ago and continuing into the 21st century. It is the most important tradition we have.